Yo, what's going on YouTube? This is your boy, D-Ox. Uh, just now leaving um, Wellness Chiropractor. Uh, just finished my monthly adjustments with Dr. Tammy Emery. Uh, she's great. I appreciate all the help she's done for me in the past year and a half. She uh, basically turned my shoulder to into a... I don't, I don't even know how to explain it to you guys, but she just changed the bum shoulder to like almost to 100%. I mean, where it needed to be by like six or seven adjustments. But, you know, I mean, you had to do what you had to do to maintain your body to uphold your workouts monthly, yearly. I mean, it's key. Just put it this way. It's, it's very important that you go to the chiropractor to get adjustments it keeps the muscles loose um, it keeps you flexible especially doing shows because you when you're up there posing I mean your your body gonna be exposed so I mean all your muscle groups are flexing you want to make sure all of them are kicking at, at every cylinder you don't want one lacking you don't want one uh, kind of delaying with the other one like say when you're doing a uh, back double bicep or a back leg spread you want to make sure everything's in sync you want to make sure those muscles flow like a river when you when you actually go into that pose so uh, i recommend that if you're not going to a chiropractor bodybuilders or amateur bodybuilders i suggest that you sign up today or whenever you can and uh, make that a a routine you know like a checkup you, you make sure you go get those maintenance checkups when you can because you never know I mean that little pull that you thought ah uh, yeah I just shake it up I'll be alright that might come back and hurt you so you need to go get that checked out get adjustment I mean your ligaments are very fragile you know what I'm saying you, you it don't take much to take you out of sync and that can hinder you during your prep so if you do anything you feel like you got a muscle spasm and you uh kind of overdid yourself go to the chiropractor and get that checked out it really makes a difference trust me i, I learned from my mistakes during my uh <coughs> power lifting days and i was very out of sync i mean my back was like tore up and it hindered me i mean my shoulders i mean from my neck to my left shoulder blade it, it was so compact that, that you know it, it took like eight adjustments to finally get that blood flowing through that that ligament to get my shoulder back when it needs to I thought I tore my shoulder but actually I was just out of alignment hips and everything else I mean so you want to get that deep squat you want to get that flexibility that you never had that you you want to get I recommend getting in there Putting your pride to the side and getting adjustments. Uh, I recommend if you're doing a show that you try to get it in during that week of the competition. So you can be nice and loose while you're resting. And you're not really hitting the gym as, as hard as you are because you want to kind of be in recovery mode for that show prep. So you'll get adjusted. And it make a hell of a lot of difference. Trust me. It helped me a lot doing my first show. So uh, I just recommend it to y'all. So uh, I just want to throw that at you guys. Um, today I'm about to head on to the gym. It's back day. Um, gotta hit the upper and lower back, some and mid hard today. Um, really focus on really contracting, get that muscle full of blood. You know, pumping it, scratching it out, contract it again, so we can get more growth into it. So. Uh, really trying to focus on handling the weight up and down movements A and B um, trying to hit every different variation you know I might do cable uh, cable rolls today I might uh, lean on the on the bench and do uh, incline rolls kind of get that deep midpoint of the rhomboids and the inner lats today so when I have that uh, that lat spread in the back for the rear I want to show 
those muscle fibers really moving and, and, and exploding, for, you know, hitting their breaking points on stage. I want to make sure that the judges really see everything pop and see how really loose I am and see the, my conditioning and how hard I work. So you know, I'm going to really hit that hard today. Um, cardio, I have stepped it up a little bit. Um, I'm going to start getting, kicking it up with a notch maybe the next uh, four and five weeks out. I'm really going to kick in the high gear. Start to get that water ray out. Um, I'm hitting the GHD a lot for my hams and glutes. Um, just focus. Just make sure I stay on the ground at all times. Make sure I don't stay uh, out of harm's way as far as injuries. So I'm practicing what I preach, guys. I, I mean, I don't want to tell you not to do this and do that, then I end up getting hurt myself. I, I'm really strict on safety. I don't like to play around in the gym. I like to get in there and get focused. So uh, I want you to keep that mindset at all times. Uh, safety is key, fear the weights. You know, I don't care if you can lift the whole gym. I mean, respect the weights because you might have that one day that you might slip up, have that, that rough patch day, and then, you know, you ain't gonna hurt yourself. So just take every step of precaution when you're in the gym. No matter how long you've been in uh, the business, the career that you've been in, one year, 100 years, whatever you, you do, just make sure you take uh, caution in everything you do. So, like I said, I'm about to hit the gym. Uh, Y'all keep tuning in. Upcoming videos coming your way. Uh, thanks for all the support. Y'all keep grinding. I'm going to do the same. I'll let y'all. One.